morning. My name is Marsha Williams, and I'm from Revival Time Assembly, located on King's Wharf in San Fernando, Trinidad and Tobago. I am thankful to my senior pastors, Reverend Lloyd and Norma Hart, for giving me the opportunity to share God's word from my heart with you today. Let us pray. Dear God, we just want to thank you for this day that you have made. It's a day that we can rejoice and be glad in. We pray as we go a little into your word that we can open our understanding, O oh God, Lord, and hear from you and learn of you, O oh God. Thank you, God, for this opportunity. In your precious name we pray. Amen. So far, this week, we have looked at trusting God by one, turning every area of our lives to God, and two, realizing that he has a perfect plan for you. Today, let us look at trusting God even when we do not understand what he's doing or where he's leading us. In Proverbs 3 and verse 5, we read what the Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In the book of Romans, it tells us, Oh, the depth of the riches both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. We can look at Job and all that he faced. He trusted God even when those close to him tried to encourage him to lean to an understanding that was not God's understanding. In the end, he got back more than he would ever have thought. Will you be willing to trust God, even if a situation leads to death? Think of our Lord Jesus. He allowed our Father's will to be done, and not his own. Difficult situations will come, even to the point of devastation. We need to understand that God permits these things to happen at times. When we have gone past those experiences and we look back, we can see how we grew spiritually and may even have received new opportunities and brought success our way in other areas of our lives. When we trust God, even though we may feel pressed on all sides, we may have a peace within us that takes us through the storm. Looking back on my own life, I encountered many situations, good and bad. During the good times, there was a sense of peace and calm. During the bad, I sometimes felt myself wavering in my trust to God and allowed worry to enter my thoughts. Of course, it felt as though I was being tossed to and fro like a boat on rough seas. I had to get into God's word, into prayer, and sometimes I had to depend on positive fellowship with other believers to bring me out of that mood. I had to get to a place where I remember that God was in that boat with me and that he never left me. Think of the three Hebrew boys in Daniel chapter 3 who stood up for what they believed in. God delivered them from the fiery furnace. When Daniel chose to obey God and was thrown into the lion's den, wasn't he also preserved and his accusers made to face what was meant for him? If God did this for these Hebrew men in the Bible, don't you think that he would do the same for you today? What situations are you facing? Do you understand what and why it's happening? Why not trust God? He understands way more than we ever can. Thank you for joining us today and see you tomorrow. Thank you.